to be intentional about changing the thing that you're praying for. You can pray all day for God, help me to have patience, help me to have patience. But you're, but if you're not intentionally working on it every day, it's not gonna just magically happen. You have to put in the work. I just needed to get out of the house. I needed to get away. And that, them little jokers will stress you out, okay? Sometimes you just need a few minutes to just regroup. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone, cause when you're Hello loves, welcome back to another video. I am headed to my girl Camille's house. We are gonna have like a girl's day. Thank you so much. We are gonna have a girl's day. Got the kiddos, we're gonna let the kiddos play. So I was like, let me just bring you guys along for the day. Got my favorite caramel frappe, extra caramel. Oh. So I got two bottles of wine in the back. Not that we're gonna drink both of those, and I don't think she has some too, but I just wanted a variety. I was supposed to get stuff to make mixed drinks, y'all, but I was in the store yesterday and I got so overwhelmed looking at all the ingredients and trying to figure out what kind of drink I wanted to make. I was like, you know what? Let me just get this bottle of wine and we're gonna call it a day. So we just gonna sip us some drinks, just chill and relax. She's like, no, <laughs> no, it's okay to say no. I'm yeah, just gonna block it. No, you fine. I understand. What's up, y'all? So we just got done eating some pizza. I didn't even show you guys the pizza, but we were playing. Me, Camille, and her sister-in-law. We were playing. Let's get deep. And I was gonna record us playing, but her sister-in-law wasn't too comfortable with being on the camera. So you know, I have to respect other people's, you know, privacy. So. I didn't set it up, but this is a really cool game. Just, you know, get to know um, other people better. So it's, it says for couples, but you can do it in a group. So now we're just going up the pool so the kids can get in the pool and have a little fun. It's like four in the afternoon. So we're gonna be over here a little while longer and then I'm gonna go ahead and head back home and um, get the girls ready for bed and all that stuff. But so it's been pretty chill. Just pour me some more wine. I'm drinking Stella Rose, one of my favorites. I forgot the one, she had one out. And it was kind of bitter, I didn't really like it. But Stella Rose, really good. We'll probably finish this off. And then, um, I got this from Walmart. It was only two or three dollars. It was like two ninety six. dollars I was like, ooh, let me just try it since it's so cheap. How did y'all know what I think about it? What's wrong, baby? Girls, y'all ready? Duh. No! Skylar, did you say duh? Yeah. You better watch it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. So I can um, <laughs> open the And just like that, your girl is free. <laughs> just drop the girls off. I'm getting ready to head to Cheddar's and go pick up my food i ordered some ribeye steak some of their rice and like cheese and then loaded mashed potatoes so ready what's up y'all i just pulled up the cheddars i'm waiting for them to bring my food out um oh here she comes 
Hello. Yes. Thank you so have a much. Wonderful day. Do you have any A1 steak sauce? Thank you. So one thing I've been thinking about lately that I want to start doing more in the videos. Y'all know how I used to do like positivity segments in the vlogs where I would just like give you a quote or just one of my devotionals that I have read. And today it's really been on me to um, talk to you guys about being intentional. I think mainly because it's something that I've been working on for like the month of August. I did like an August challenge, you know, if you follow me on Instagram. And I know more so, mine was more so, hold on, let me get this from her. My challenge really wasn't focusing on like trying to eat better. Even though I did have like drinking more water, that has fell to the wayside, okay? Mom was really focusing on things that is going to make me better as a person. Of course, eating better will make me better, but just different things that I can do that will help me be more productive and just helping me mentally. So, um, one of the things that I've been doing is really being intentional about myself, my marriage, and my kids but really being intentional about how I treat myself, what I do for myself, the time that I spend with myself, because I know you've heard it so many times that like you cannot pour from an empty cup, but it's so true and I've really realized most of the times when I am just so anxious, when I'm burnt out, when I'm stressed out, it's because I have been lacking in taking care of myself and pouring into myself and giving me what I need. So um, this month I've been intentional and that's the key word for today is intentional about making time for myself it's waking up earlier like if i can just get up 30 minutes before the girls get up but i've been getting up a little bit earlier than 30 minutes or a little bit more than 30 minutes before the girls but just getting up a little earlier than them so i can do my devotionals so i can just set the tone for the day so i can um pray and um listen to music um it's just getting out and doing things at the beginning of the vlog i went to camille house and that's something that i typically typically wouldn't do so um just being intentional about getting out of my comfort zone and doing things that i may not normally do um so yeah but so i've really been trying to be very intentional about taking care of myself and because when i'm not it definitely shows in the way that i parents in the way that I'm a white like it shows up in all different areas so that's one thing and then for my kids I know I asked Skylar because we always talk it and I asked her I was like um mommy loves you and all of these things now and I asked her the question um what is this something what is something mommy does that you don't really like or do I do anything that makes you feel sad or what because as parents we're not perfect we uh, we are not perfect and if I can change or you know fix anything that I'm doing that you know bothers her I want to work on that so it like really touched me because she said I don't like it when you holler at me mommy and I already know for me, like, I don't like hollering, but sometimes I'm just overwhelmed. I'm at a point, I'm like, girl, stop, sit down. Y'all sit down and stuff. And I raise my voice and she doesn't like that. And I know she doesn't like it, but just hearing her verbalize it and say it, it turned a switch in me. I'm like, you know what? I need to start praying to God to help me with patience and to help me with this. And uh, with praying, you have to be intentional about changing the thing that you're praying for. You can pray all day for God, help me to have patience, help me to have patience. But you're, but if you're not intentionally working on it every day, you know, it's not gonna just magically happen. You have to put in the work, you know? So I've been trying to be more intentional about the way that I speak to them, the way that, okay, if they do something that I don't like this, upsetting to me or if I, I have to constantly keep telling them not to do something I try to take the time out to explain it to them explain why this is making mommy upset 
and then sometimes I'm just like look y'all sit down you know but just being intentional is just so important I think it really has to do with me reading this book y'all atomic habits it's so good it's turned so many switches on for me like the small habits that you can work on every day can really create remarkable results and just lead to those those goals I feel like we all have goals and all of these things that we want to do and you, what what, do you, what does your higher self look like and all of that stuff and you have to be intentional about changing those things or working towards those goals you're not going to reach those goals if you're not intentional about taking the steps to do it so um just really me doing like small changes like even working out i've gotten back on my little wave of working out and i work I, like this week i worked out three times so that's good i'm not gonna push it three is the minimum if i do more that's good that's what i've been just really trying to be intentional and then here's my daddy now, i've been calling him three day three days in a row and now he want to call me back he gonna wait a second because I'm talking to y'all and then another thing that I've been intentional about is my marriage and really pouring into it and like I just dropped the girls off because we're getting ready to have like a date night um while they are being taken care of <laughs> we're getting ready to watch a movie I just picked up some food and we are about to you know spend quality time together we're about to have one-on-one -on -one time because a lot of times yes we all we spend time together we do a lot as a family but it's very important to have that one-on-one -on -one time with your spouse and um that's something that i want to work on for us and just like really be intentional about having that one-on-one -on -one time and um so yeah we're getting ready to do that and um because just like flowers if you don't water them, what's gonna happen? The leaves start to weather. Is it weather? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. The leaves start to shrivel up. <laughs> some leaves might be good, but some might be like crumbling up. So you have to water it. You have to pour into, and that's all relationships. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on and I'm try my best to create these habits and making um creating small like small habits that can ultimately you know you know help me grow in the areas that i would like to grow in but i do have a quote i found a quote that i do want to share with you guys i'm going to read it to you once i stop driving here it goes living with intention means saying no to the things that aren't important so you can say yes to the things that matter and i've also been really mindful about the shows that i watch i really haven't been watching too many shows i've been watching listening to a lot of podcasts and i'm watching a lot of podcasts on youtube so yeah it's time to get intentional okay time to get intentional about what you want and that's another thing oh that's a whole nother topic about what you want so i've really been trying to figure out what does dominique want because in this time right now with social media we can kind of get misconstrued on like what we want we can get you're looking at other people lives you're looking at other people posts i don't know that's a whole nother subject right there but you can get caught up into social media and oh they got this mm, i need that no what why do you want it <laughs> you know what do you want what kind of life do you want to live and finding out your purpose so that's the journey that I've been on. That's what I've really been, you know, honing in on. And I just want to like encourage you guys, be intentional about finding out what you want. Like, what do you want? You get one time to live on this earth. What are you doing with that time? What are you doing with that time? So yeah, let me call my daddy back so I can get in this house and spend some time with my man, okay? 
this ooh y'all got I already told y'all what I got So this romper is really cute. Well, this jumpsuit is really cute. It's only $8, y'all. It's on the clearance rack. So here's another jumpsuit. This one is all black. And I love the way it fits. It has pockets. I was about to say <laughs> How daddy put your shoe on the wrong foot? <laughs> they so cute. Oh, that was a super cute. Why not? What's up, y'all? It is 8.06. I'm in the Chick-fil-A line right now. I just needed to get out of the house. I needed to get away, and I just needed some time for myself. Um, Since I was talking about yesterday about being intentional, I'm trying my best to be intentional on, you know, I just needed to get out of the house so I could clear my mind and just have that time for me. So, I left, and... I'm up here at Chick-fil-A about to give me some ice cream because y'all we went to the mall right and the girls they were ready to go to the trampoline park and we ended up not going because they kept whining and crying over every little thing and I just couldn't take it no more we just came home and after that I was like you know what I've had enough <laughs> I gotta get away from this house I just need some time to just be by myself so that's what I'm doing. I was like, oh, let me just pull out the camera because we was just talking about this yesterday about being intentional. So I knew if I stayed in that house, I was going to get aggravated more. And I just needed to come and just be by myself. So I'm getting to give me some ice cream. I was like, let me just talk to y'all. <laughs> Can I get a, um, a Oreo milkshake? Yeah, cookies and cream milkshake. That's it. I ended up getting a cookies and cream milkshake. I was gonna get an ice cream cone, but I was like, oh, let me just get a milkshake. But yeah, I just needed to get out of the house, get some time to myself. I'm getting ready to just sit in the car, read my book, or watch some YouTube, and just chill. I don't know when I'm gonna go back home, but I know I just needed some time. I was reading this post the other day. I shared it on my Instagram. And it was talking about how moms can be overstimulated. And like, let me read it to y'all. So let me read it. Can we talk about the fact that moms get overstimulated and it's mistaken for anger? No, I'm not angry. I'm just trying to soothe a crying baby while hearing mom, 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 mom. When the TV is on 88, the dryer is going, surrender the person mowing the line. My Apple Watch dinging non-stop. My shirt's too tight. My hair isn't in a messy bun correctly. There's crumbs on the floor I can feel. I'm not angry. I'm overstimulated. And I need a minute to get myself together. And that is what I need right now. And it was saying, motherhood is inc incredibly exhausting. No matter what someone always needs you, go to work. Someone needs you. Come home someone needs you go to sleep someone needs you shower time someone needs you go into the bathroom someone needs you a child a baby an adult i'm always needed please let me collect myself before you start to accuse me of being in a bad mood um but i just wanted to share that because i know it's a lot of moms that watch my channel and um maybe because i don't share a lot of the 
like moments where I'm just like oh, stressed or whatever that you guys feel like I'm just always you know put together and woo, I got it all figured out no you guys I am trying to figure it out just like you guys just like y'all I am trying to figure this thing out as well <sighs> but yeah girl your girl is feeling very overstimulated right now and I just needed some time to myself Oof. so yeah girl your girl is having a moment right now <laughs> a moment but I'm about to get this milkshake and read get myself together and go back to, to the house in a positive mood okay i'm gonna give myself this time release all of this i was really just sharing this simply because i wanted to encourage any mother who may be feeling like this because i get a lot of you know messages and dms talking about like how i make motherhood look so easy and i show you know i'm able to show the parts of my life that i want to share but i just y'all it's motherhood is challenging we love our kids so much just because you're feeling like this does not mean you don't love your kids. just because you feel like you need a break from your kids does not mean you don't love your kids okay take that in and I, I, I had to like it took me the longest to realize that because I battle with like why do I feel like this these are my babies but why are they that them little jokers would stress you out okay so y'all we all have our moments okay so let me know down below what are some things that you guys do when you are like feeling overstimulated and just like just overwhelmed and you just need a break you need some peace you need some me time what is it that you do to get you to bring you back sometimes you just need a few minutes to just regroup together your thoughts to just be by yourself to just get a little peace of mind without someone nagging you and mom 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 i want this no, 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 i need this, this. <laughs> like oh um so yeah i'm getting ready to sit here whenever i get my milkshake i can't drink it immediately so i'm gonna probably probably let it sit for like another 10 minutes so it can kind of melt because it'd be too thick for me to drink through the straw but i'm just getting ready to sit here i wish i would have put some regular shoes on girl i was ready to get out of that house i got my darn bedroom shoes on <laughs> I still got my um my jumpsuit on that I had on earlier. I just got it pulled down and then I got this this off because I could have walked around Target or something, but I don't want to go in there with my bare shoes on. And the only shoes I have in here are these little heels right here. What they got? All I have in here are these little heels and the girl ain't about to go in there with these. So I guess it ain't meant for me to go into Target anyways. Cause I go in there spending unnecessary money. Today is Saturday and as I sit here and I like reflect on my week, you guys, today is the first day this week that I did not wake up this morning, pray, do my devotional, and <laughs> And now I'm feeling like this because I'm telling you when I wake up and I intentionally like dedicate time to myself and um, it's crazy because I'm sitting here thinking about it because I'm like, why am I like, like, why am I just so, ugh? like everything. I did not get up this morning because I, I didn't go to bed till like four o'clock. Y'all, I took a long nap yesterday and then I didn't go to bed until four o'clock this morning. And then we got up at like. I think I got up with Summer at like 7.30 because Sean had to work this morning. So I um I was up with Summer sleep. I mean she washed her iPad and stuff, but I went back to sleep. But I woke up around 8.39, so I got maybe like four and a half, five hours of sleep or whatever. Y'all do the math. But when I got up, I immediately just got into mommy mode 
and I didn't take that time for myself this morning. So just little things like that, y'all, it can really make a difference. Just taking that time in the morning or those kids because honey, they didn't they didn't did it for me today. Those are my babies though. So I'm probably gonna end this video here. I really enjoyed um talking to you guys in this vlog and i really want to you know do more vlogs like this just real talk you know and sharing more of different things that i'm going through different things i'm struggling with different things i'm learning different things that i'm trying to do um so yeah let me know down below did y'all like enjoy me you know just talking just talking to y'all chatting it up leave me some comments down below y'all anything that i was talking about and y'all want to put y'all little razzle dazzle two cents in do that um but yeah and anything that you can leave something encouraging in the comments you don't have to leave nothing encouraging for me but just for another mom that may be just going through the comments leave something down there for her okay leave something in the comments drop some positivity down in the comments some encouraging words um some words of wisdom i know it's a lot of older women who watch my channel and that's that's amazing i'm like what are you watching me like <laughs> i think that's amazing like so many of you guys have told me like i have grandkids your age i'm like what and you're watching my channel like that's amazing for you to even find interest in you know my channel and stuff and i appreciate it so leave some words of wisdom down there and just some encouragement because we all need it right and we are all in this together so i just wanted to share what i'm going through at this moment but they ain't about to hold me down i gotta snap up out of it but thank y'all so much for tuning in watching the vlog if y'all made it to the end i really thank you and i appreciate you guys the next videos that's going to be going up are going to be um i have like a preparation video um going up i haven't did it we're going to do it this week because this week we're going to be preparing for excuse me florida and get packing doing the girl's hair all of that so i'm going to try to capture as much footage oh, excuse me as i can i'm trying to get everything figured out with outfits that i want them to wear like going to different parks and stuff and um different activities that i want to do um and then what else um, and then the next vlogs are probably going to be Florida vlogs because we're going to Disney if you don't know taking Sky Baby to Disney my family's going to be there Sean's family's going to be there so it's going to be a whole big thing so the vlogs y'all already know they going to be lit baby we're going to be down there having a ball and I'm so ready I'm so ready um, so yeah this is going to be good I'm just so ready so thankful so blessed to be able to do a trip like this with sean's family and my family we all stand in one house together that's a blessing because when i talk to some people like they they don't they might not even get along with their in-laws so i thank god for that um so yeah we're gonna have a good time y'all but i'll see you guys in the next video peace